This is Corporal Davila of the Fort Myers Police Department, who I had an interaction with in January of 2021. I was outside of some sort of public works facility in Fort Myers. At this facility, they have some sort of other Fort Myers Police Department field office. You see a lot of unmarked vehicles and drug task force officers coming in and out of this facility. The reason why I am highlighting the villa is because this was the same exact officer that arrested Chuck Bronson. Where do you want me to go? You know what? You're gonna turn I'm just asking, turn man. No, 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 no. Where turn do you want me to go? Tell me where to go turn and I'll go. When speaking to Chuck Bronson, he brought to my attention this incident of Davila arresting a street preacher for exercising his First Amendment right to religion out in public. Why are you arresting me, sir? Can you take my Bible? Why are you arresting me, sir? Corporal Davila threatened me with arrest for stalking and harassment of a police officer just because I was filming outside of this facility. I filed a complaint with Internal Affairs. Their response to my complaint was that his conduct was within law and accordance to their policies, so they would not take any further administrative action. In my opinion, if this police department stepped up and made this officer accountable for his unlawful actions, giving him further training and education on our First Amendment right to record police in their duty while in public, the targeting of independent journalists would not have happened and the arrest of Chuck Bronson could have been avoided. This is all quite ironic coming from a department that has written on the front of their building, honor, ethics, and accountability. Also, respect and teamwork. This is also the same department that has recently gone encrypted on their radios, so people like Chuck Bronson and myself cannot show up on the scene and record the police and keep them accountable. So for some of my new subscribers and some of my older subscribers, I wanted to show you the interaction with Corporal Davila to kind of put the puzzle pieces together onto who this officer is and what this department has done. To not only avoid accountability, but to enable this behavior towards people that want to record their traffic stops and interactions. I will leave links to the videos in the description down below, and I will also leave the complaint form within this video. Hope you all enjoy. I'm going to go in order. So this is October 2020. The next incident with me is January 2021. And the incident with Chuck Bronson is... April of 2022. Why are you arresting me, sir? Can, can you take my Bible? Why are you arresting me, sir? Why are you arresting me? What have I done? I have, you have my hand, sir. No, no, turn it in. Why are you arresting me, sir? Turn your hand in. Sir, why are you arresting me? First Amendment. Arresting you for the First Amendment. What have I done, sir? Preach the gospel. All I mean. <laughs> I understand. Sir, what have I done? Why are you arresting me, sir? Did he, get, did he give you a warning? He told me to shut it down. He didn't tell me why. This is going to be a court case right there, and he's not going to lose. <laughs> it's already been challenged in court, so we don't go back. You guys stand back. Wait over there. If you're not, I'm going to arrest you guys. Hey, we're, we're complying with you. We're just recording what's going on. He can still let him go and, you know, it won't be a court case, but I can't, the acre can't even get close to 72. Uh, doesn't I told him I said the 72 decimal, I thought it was the decimal level. He said, no, that's for something else. So I don't know enough about it to argue with that. Huh. Well, I'm calling Adam. <laughs> yeah. This is when you call Adam. You can tell. You can tell the cops not sure. Yeah. Could you tell? He could tell he's not not totally sure. The officer. Oh, yeah. 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 He looked like he was. Uh... Well, see, I told him, that, uh, and I didn't know enough. Oh to wow! Is he driving him away? Yeah, I think so. What the heck? Is he? He's st okay. He just started it, so he's not.
that, fellas? Seems like a half the crop. Another cop coming? Nope. I'm on the grass. The I'm not in the street. Look it. Don't be an asshole. Pedestrians have the right of way. Pedestrians have the right of way. Don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. I wasn't in the middle of the street. Get away from my car. What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? I don't have to get away from your car. What's your name and badge number? Tough guy. Prick. I don't have to get away from his car. That intimidation don't work with me, brother. Sergeant. See, that's how you do it right there. She's a sergeant. She knows. Go get this prick. Just to mark where I am. I'm way out of the street. Hey, did you learn how to be a prick in the academy? Get away from me. What are you going to do? I'm not in the street. I'm not in the street. You're a prick. Shut up. What are you even doing? Tough guy. I can walk across the street. So I'm hiding from his camera. Ooh. Running with the mask on. Trying to use your vehicle as a weapon? No need. You will be charged with harassment and stalking. I can't harass and stalk a police officer. I'm I'm exercising my First Amendment right. I'm documenting how how much you are. Yeah. Okay. What property? This is a public street. You really gonna violate my rights? Disorderly. How am I disorderly? You can't harass a police officer, sir. This guy is gonna, he's gonna try to arrest me.
He's gonna try to arrest me. Stalking and harassment. I'm gonna walk down this way. We got another one coming in here. Stalking and harassment. I can't get arrested down here. I'm going back. Doesn't say no public. This guy's a tyrant, dude. Look, it even says public entrance. Public entrance. To watch my video in its entirety, go click the link in the description. I go down to the police department later on and I identify Davila and speak to Sergeant Green and Sergeant Musa. I followed up with a complaint and this is the response that I received. Dear Mass Accountability Network, this letter is to inform you that the Fort Myers Police Department's Internal Affairs received your complaint and completed a preliminary assessment, case number 2021-007, of the related facts. On February 5th, 2021, the Internal Affairs received your written complaint alleging Officer Martin Davila threatened you with arrest for stalking and harassment a police officer while you were exercising your First Amendment rights by filming public works facility where police cars were parked. Our agency strives to provide the citizens with exceptional service. We consider the facts you bring forth as important. However, the preliminary assessment of the complaint revealed that the facts presented do not require an administrative or internal affairs investigation because the conduct of Officer Davila was within the law and accordance to department policy and procedure. If you wish to discuss the facts surrounding the disposition of the complaint, please contact our Internal Affairs Office at 239-321-7708. I thank you again for bringing this matter to our attention. We trust that future contact with members of the Fort Myers Police Department will be positive in nature. Now I'm going to bring you into a couple weeks prior to Chuck Bronson's arrest where Davila confronted him, giving him unlawful directives to move his vehicle from a public easement and threatening him again with interference just because he was asking for a call number. Park They're waiting for somebody at the house. All right? What do you mean I can't park here, though? You can't park here. Where can I park then? You have to find a park. You have to find legal parking. Well, that is, that's a public easement. easement. Yeah, I understand that's a public easement. You cannot park in the easement. You have to what you statute are, is that? You walk through the What yes. statute, Florida statute says I can't, that's, that's the only place I can park you here. Move your car. You I'm going to, I'm just trying to understand what you're trying to say, because that's not law. That's gibberish. What, you're just in the business of being a dick? And that's it? Yeah, when I pulled up, like, yeah, I'm the only person he moved. You know, there's 10 other cars out in the street parked just like I was down there. Hey, dumb, get me a call number, will you? Free speech is not interference. Free speech is not interference. There's case law, dummy. Learn the law or shut your mouth. I'm not telling you again.
going to take my First Amendment away? Yeah, right. Who do you think you are? Interference, you got to be in between you and somebody else, moron. Look up the statute. Now, this is about three weeks after the video you just watched with Chuck Bronson. Trying to figure out why this cop's parked in the middle of the street with no emergency lights, you know? No, I believe you. I'm recording. I'm recording the cops to make sure they treat people right and do their job. Cool. That's awesome. How's it interfering? You're asking me to what? <clears throat> Where do you want me then? Thanks, friends in code. Where do you want me to go? Huh? How am I getting away? Getting interfering is physical. I'm not between you and them. Tell me where to go. Anywhere where you're not interfering with my investigation. By standing, sitting here quietly recording. That's interfering. Jesus. Talking about privacy now. Can you stop him from recording me, bro? Can you stop him from recording me? I can. 
I'm trying, to, I'm trying to cooperate with you, but Where do you want me to go? You're interrupting. Let me go get my pistol. Stop, stop, stop. I don't eat my pistol. Hey, where do you want me to go? You know what? You're gonna turn I'm just asking, turn around. man. No, 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 no. Where turn do you around, want me around. to go? And there you have it, everybody. A tyrant that could have been stopped over a year ago. Could have been corrected in his behavior, but they failed to take accountability and responsibility for his actions. This is an interaction I had with Sergeant Zimmett of the Fort Myers Police Department on April 27th, 2022, talking about Davila, and he says that that side of the police department isn't up to date with our right to film police. Yeah, I've had a couple run-ins with you guys, and for the most part, it's been pretty good. Uh, Davila, I had a little, that wasn't too good, but. You know, it depends on the side. Brian knows, it depends on the side you're on. Our side's really good with this stuff. Yeah. You know, we tell him there's no different. Yeah. So just don't even, just ignore him, he'll ignore you. Yeah, I was over by that, I think it's a public works building where some of the drug task force yeah. goes and stuff. I was outside of those gates. And he didn't like that at all. Yeah. Threatened, he threatened me with uh, get arrest me for harassment and something else, uh, stalking of a police officer. I'm like, guy, really? And then didn't you go inside after that? Uh, the follow-up we did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Next time they yeah. went inside. Because the door says public entrance. Right. On the other side. Yeah. yeah. But usually I think you guys need a beep, but we tried the door and it opened up, so we went in. On the other, I think on the other side, yeah. it's uh, part of uh, utilities, I think. I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, he didn't, he didn't like me being outside the gate, but... And then I talked to uh, Musa. Yeah. And uh, Sergeant Musa. Yeah, I forgot the other one too. Green. Sergeant Green. Yeah, Green was awesome. He's actually getting promoted. Good. He deserves it. Yeah. He absolutely deserves it. Yeah, he's good to go. He listened to me. He was he going to be a lieutenant? No, he's he'll be a sergeant. Oh, okay. All right. He's acting sergeant then, but he's oh, 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 promoted, okay. Promoted. Oh, cool. Good. He deserves it big time. Yeah, he's a good guy. Because he he listened to me straight out, and uh, then Musa came out the second time, and he kind of corrected our first little. Counter. Yeah, so that was all good and that's that was about the villa. So that's cool. So guys We got four different situations here with the same officer Corporal de Villa all within a year and a half from each other all about First Amendment right violations and Not understanding our First Amendment right to either freedom of press freedom of speech or freedom of religion The charges were dropped in the preacher's case, but he could not comment any further how many times is it going to take for the same officer to continue to violate rights and get charges dismissed or dropped for those same exact charges before they are going to be held accountable? These are just the four different situations that were caught on camera. Imagine what was not caught on camera his whole career, never mind the last year and a half. All contact information will be down below. If you enjoyed this video, please check out the video that is on the screen right now. I will link it in the description. It is about the Salem Police Department with targeted harassment and an illegal arrest. Here's the teaser. Name, though. What's yours? I just Don't. saw a YouTube video about you, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 Is it a good one? You guys going viral, dude. Are you just going to run your mouth? I mean, we're not doing anything wrong. First of all, freedom of speech. I can really say whatever I want. And she, she already knows me. I don't even worry about you. What's in the cop? I know my law, buddy. Not gonna be running up on me. You ain't bullying me this summer. All right, we'll see you around. You have a nice day, buddy. Yep. Have a good one. Hey, harassment, harassment going on right now. Hey, 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 hey you can't be on my porch. Stand back, stand back, stand back. Yeah. Show him the video. He'll put it on his YouTube channel. So I have all the videos, so I'm just letting you guys know I'm gonna be releasing that probably tomorrow. You're gonna pull me over for it? I hope you do. I hope you do. You know, officers have no duty to protect us or keep us safe. This video is highlighting Keegan Stokes, badge 217, and Officer Buckley 233 of the Salem Police Department in Salem, Massachusetts. All contact information will be linked in the description and the pinned comment. Hope you all enjoyed. Much love, respect, and appreciation.